Respectfully, this is one of them subjects that, or videos that I probably am uploading a little later, but I'm going to say this off the rip. After researching the history, doing, looking into it, it's hard for me to say justice for Ukraine and everything. Looking into the past, I did a very general study, watched a lot of other YouTubers talk on this and verified and researched what they said. It's hard for me to say justice for Ukraine. Not after I, I realized what Russia stood for versus Ukraine. Against times when things were bad in America, Russia was not stepping on us. Russia actually did not even, I didn't know this, shout to Adept. Russia, I learned, was, was not really participating in the times of slavery when it was the atlantic slave trade they were not really participating they were against the stuff then to find out ukraine allegedly was in support of germany when things were bad with hitler that really changed my view on what's going on in ukraine i want to look and see better for them i don't want to see nobody harmed their bad stuff happen but you can't tell me that doesn't change a view on how a person sees the information in russia invading you guys because what they don't talk about is how russia's kind of invading you because of the things you stood for in the past up till now they find out that you're involved in some unsavory business that's the truth now this is crazy and i'm looking at it, at it watching the news and i'm seeing what they're doing to african americans that are left over there you're not really having them stand with you you guys are feeding them to the wolves running through like they're a piece of meat that's wild that's crazy you're not the video of the dude trying to get in there to the station to hide because he's alleging that there's people that don't like him because his color trying to attack him specifically and you fed him out the door and he hasn't been seen since yo that's crazy is that true russia they're alleging that is that true did they just toss a person out that was at, happened to be African-American to get their people out of the way? That's crazy. And I bet Russia let him go. And the people that picked him up, they took him, put him away as a prisoner of war and kept moving. That's crazy. You're, you're willing to sacrifice us to get your people out of Dodge. But you want me to look at Russia as the bad guy just because they happened to go in your place. That's crazy is that true i'm trying to find is that true if once i know that's true or not then i'm good i'm good like i can't even be mad now i don't want to see anybody let's say patronized or anybody under duress attack nothing but when i'm looking at the facts you want me to look at as a certain person as a terrible group of people when i'm being told about how they treat african americans that's insane you don't even consider them as allies. But here I look in, in Russia's forces and I see that they do have some African-American allies and they're not treating them bad or anything because of their color. They didn't help anyone in the past to do anything that went against a people because of a color. That's crazy. You want to create the narrative for me, but when I'm reading into the past and who funded what, that's where I'm getting very sketchy on the message being presented i'm very confused like i didn't know they rock that way if that was the way they rock i would not be here boosting them up to defeat russia if i knew that they didn't care like come on man and i have nothing to, nothing against anyone but you want me to pick a side that's what you want me to do i'm sorry i can't do that i need to know the truth i need to know the facts I need to know who supported who. When he was reigning in Germany and the he who we're talking about, you know who, that dictator. Were you supporting that? When Stalin was doing things in the Union, were you supporting that? What were you supporting? Is that true? So I'm supposed to drop everything and say, oh, they're under duress right now. So let me look down on Russia when Russia was supporting against the wrongs that happened here in America during that time instead of funding them instead of participating or coping with them they were standing for the people that were being their wills and rights held against them you want me to no I'm not doing that if that's the truth I'm not doing that
And understand, it's Zara All Rights Reserve for a reason. Russia rock with me, so I got to look into this. I'm not just jumping on the side. Come on, man. I'm not doing that. We got to, we get, we need facts. I'm not doing that. Somebody bring me the facts. We can decide from there. But until then, I'm staying objective. What is going on? Where is it going on? What's the problem? What's the real reason that Russia is running through Ukraine? Now, there's many different angles I've heard. What's the real reason? Why are they running through Ukraine? Tell the truth. Why? Be honest. Is there something that they heard of? Is there something they were told by, told about? Now, let me ask this. If they were told about inside information, you're telling me part of the presidency that left after Biden took over has nothing to do with it? That it just happened that they figured something out. I've, after all this time, after making contact with the former presidency that was there, they're just assuming something that was in the country of Ukraine. Come on, man. What was going on? Is there a reason? Because I'm not saying Putin's the man that I believe. I don't. I support America all day, all night. America till the end. But you're telling me there was no reason that's not being disclosed? Come on, man. Come on. This, this. <laughs> Why can't they be honest about what's going on? I know it's not just they chose to randomly go into there. There's been drama between these two countries. There's been that. Been, been. But what's actually going on there that they chose now to do it? Why didn't they go in when Trump was in there? Maybe because he's a stronger president? I don't know. But I'm asking you. I'm putting it objectively out there. You can't just say all Russia is bad. Or you can't just say all Ukraine's bad. There's bad people in every country. There's bad things happening in every country. But done by people purposely, not pur purposely, don't matter. Bad stuff all day. But you can't just condemn a people because of ang anguish, anger. Me wanting to blame somebody. We got to be fair and objective. Guilty. I mean, innocent until proven guilty. Come on. What's going on? Is that true? Were they tossing? I was a shield. If I was there, I was a shield because I was African-American. Come on, man. You want me to just jump up and support it? I can't do that. I can't do that. I got to be honest. And if you guys are using us as shields, I, I can't rock with that. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Let me know whatever you want me to talk about regarding this subject. Let me know if you know something different. If you're like, Zara, that's not true. Please tell me below. I'll gladly listen. But this is what I'm being told. These are the type of obstacles I heard the people had to go through from different denominations that were staying there. Now, they could be false. They could be true. I seen I seen with my eyes a video of how they treated one African-American man. He was tossed to the wolves. They were claiming were a racist set that had to do with that company and country. I don't know if that's true, but I seen the video from the police station. They were pushing him out and they said they never couldn't find him after that. So what's going on? Tell the truth. Let's figure out. Let me know below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button. Subscribe. The same old everyday thing you already know for them updates. Hit that like button. Subscribe. All rights reserved.